And we are back. Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke. We're only using grass type Pokemon for this run, and it is time to take on that eighth and final gym leader. Can we keep this deathless run alive? It is the seventh attempt. Do you believe? All right, it is time to take on Juan. He's got that really nice Kingdra, but really we're just going to try to set up on the Love Disc. Use the signature Sleep Powder from Slatepour, our Vile Plume now. So we actually have two huge evolutions from the Water and Grass Stone, or Leaf Stone, I should say. We finally get the Ludicolo, no more Lombre, and then we secure the Vile Plume. So really good stuff here. Our team is looking absolutely fantastic, and then we still have the Cradily as well as the other Pokemon in the PC. I do believe it is the Brayloon. So we have Breloom and Cradilly just chilling in the back right now, and I think we are primed and ready to secure the final gym battle. Let's see if we can do this without losing anybody. So Juan and Wallace, both in Emerald here, very formidable water types. <laughs> As I say that, the love disc comes down, and um, I do believe we are just going to try to use the love disc to our advantage. We tank the water pulls no problem, but we do miss the sleep powder. And we're gonna have to tank the sweet kiss here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up. We just gotta watch the health bar a little bit and we get the sleep off. Beautiful stuff. And now I do believe we're gonna go with Lava Ridge, not as fast as the Shifri, but has access to Needle Arm as well as Fan Attack. So a little bit more variety there, but really we are just going for the growth as Love Disc wakes up. Very unfortunate stuff there. And I might get Elite Seed down as well once we get enough growth in range just to stay healthy. But right now we are good to go. Uh, we got two growth. I'm gonna get three growth down if possible. We are confused and we're gonna take some damage on top of that. Really, this uh, Love Disc has so many confusion options between the Water Pulse and Sweet Kiss. So seeing that now, I'm going to go ahead and get a Leech Seed down. And we might have blundered, but thankfully Lava Ridge breaks through. And that Leech Seed is going to start healing us up from the top. Beautiful stuff there. And we're going to go back to the growth as the Water Pulse keeps raining down. And if that crits, we are in trouble. But we do break out of confusion, which is absolutely massive. And there is a 25% mischance on that confusion move. However, Water Pulse is 100 and is going to keep chipping away. Hopefully no confusion. Beautiful stuff. We are really playing with fire here, I think. But um, I, I'm all for it. We're just going to go for one more growth. And hopefully Love Disc goes for something else. And thankfully we don't get confused. Um, but we still have a bunch of other options that we can swap out into in case this does backfire. But at plus 6, we will be one-shotting everything, I do believe. Um, let's see here. So we are plus six. We are at half HP and I think we just blitz down. I think we just take care of business. Um, the only problem is if we get outsped by the Kingdra and it decides to go ice beam, we will lose cat turn. Um, that's my only issue here. And if that confuses us, okay, it does not. So I am a little bit concerned of the Kingdra. I'm pretty sure we outspeed Chunky Celio, though. Celio. Um, oh, wow. Cacturn is our slowest as well. Cacturn is our slowest. And we didn't do a Calm Mind. We only did Growth. So that was not great, but we are two levels up. It does have Aurora Beam. I'm willing to go for this just because we set up so much and we are faster, thankfully. So that is definitely going to nuke. Um, but I am really nervous for that Kingdra, and there it is, and if it outspeeds and goes Ice Beam, I think we're dead. We are, because our special defense is not great, but if it just cheeses with a double team, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Um, it might just cheese with a double team. So do I have anyone else with Leech Seed? I do not, so that's super unfortunate. Um, and Fort Tree is four times weak. Oof, man, this was this was ill conceived. This was ill conceived. Um, we can definitely one shot. Oh my gosh, would the Kingdra go for the kill, or would the Kingdra double team? Because if it double teams, I'm gonna be on the back foot. But also, I can't really swap anyone into an Ice Beam except for Ludi Colo. And I can't really do anything with that moveset other than spam Ice Beam. So given that really silly situation I have found myself in, I think I'm going for this. I think I'm going for this. And if it backfires, we still have the shift for the grass dark typing for the Elite Four. So we can still lean into that. 
I'm going all in. And if Loveridge kills the Kingdra, oh, it goes for Ice Beam. We blew it. Oh, my God. Oh, well done. Well done. Okay, so now we are in a little bit of trouble because Leet Seed would have been beautiful against him as well. So I think we're going to throw out the shifter. We should be able to tank one, just one ice beam. So let's go ahead and get that fake out down. This is going to be a little bit precarious. And let's see. I'm going to get one growth, hoping that it goes for double team. Absolutely. And now let's see if we can cheese a faint attack. It goes for double team again. Okay. But we are slower, so we got to watch out for that. How much damage are we talking with a growth faint attack? Is that enough? I'm not sure if that's enough, but I'm going to go for it. It goes for rest. Okay, so really, it's okay. We're trying to recover from the cat turn loss. There is the berry, so if it uses rest again, it cannot wake up instantly. Another faint attack comes down, so we're just going for the three shot. It cheeses another double team, not realizing that we have that accuracy on lock, but we are just fine, and I don't know. That's probably in heal range from Juan, so I'm going to go for the growth. It absolutely is. Beautiful stuff. And now hopefully it's a two shot, but it'll probably still be really close. There is the ice beam. No crit, no freeze, no crit, no freeze. It critical hits the shift tree. Oh my god. Now we don't have a dark type. Wow. Oof, wow. Okay, I'm going to go for the sleep powder. An ice beam comes down, and we get frozen. But we do have a berry, a citrus for reprieve. Oh my god, it's still double teamed up. We probably won't even land this. Yeah, and we're still frozen solid. What am I doing? Oh, this is bad. I'm going to go for moonlight to try and heal out of this. If we can stall the ice beam, I do have protect. Uh, we might have just lost sleep for. Oh my god, the one HP. The one HP. Okay, we need to calculate here. How many ice beams? We lost Loveridge to an ice beam. We lost Verdant Turf to a stab ice beam. A super effective crit. And then we got hit by two from. So we have four ice beams. We have four ice beams. Oh, this is crazy. This changes everything, my god. Um, now, we're just going to spam Ice Beam of our own. We probably won't hit, but all we need now is... There's the fifth Ice Beam. We need... Oh my god, another crit. Another crit. That's five Ice Beams. That's six. We're going to have to tank one more. Hopefully get a freeze, maybe. We do have a little bit of reprieve there. This is incredible. This is incredible. Everything changes, and we get frozen again. Oh, and I lost count. Um, I think that was seven. I think that was seven ice beams. I think this is eight, and we hold on with seven HP. Good Lord, have mercy. That is seven or eight. We're going all in. This is going to be eight or nine. Uh, how many can we tank? Just one. Oh, my God. This is incredible. Oh, 75. We're going to have to roll it with one left. We're going to have to roll it with one left um, because Tropius, ha Tropius does not have Protect. The one that had Protect was Shiftry, and Shiftry's dead. That's right. That's right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. Look at how they're holding on. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I blundered to the heavens. Oh, what an ill-conceived plan. Okay. So I think we have to roll it all. On Little Root, uh, this is we're probably not even gonna hit. I'm just hoping that the ice beam holds on, because um, Kingdra still has one or two ice beams, and I think he can one shot the Tropia since it's four times super effective. Oh, we might just wipe here. Um, all in for the Leaf Blade, it misses. There's an ice beam. Oh my God, we hold on. We absolutely hold on. Yes, you do, sir. And, okay, I think I have to <laughs> to lose Little Root as well. Um, if he has one more Ice Beam, we have to let him go so that the Tropius can finish because he still has another Pokemon as well in the Crawdaunt. 
So I'm going all in. If this connects, though, this might kill because we're in overgrow proccing the passive. It does not put the water pulse holds on. We might be able to save. Oh my god, we can save the septile now. We can absolutely save the septile since he is out of ice beam. Oh my god. So that was incredible. And we're just going to growth. Yep, there's that. So we are going to growth once. And I think we're actually just going to growth twice. And let's let's make it three. Let's make it three and then rain down Magical Leaf. And um, because Magical Leaf is also a move that can't miss, um, this should be fine. As long as no confusion, no confusion lock will be fine. There we go. Four tree drops back with the Magical Leaf. And it is going to be a two shot. Absolutely. It's absolutely going to be a two shot. We somehow survived 10 ice beams. Well, we, we didn't survive 10 ice beams, but you know what I'm saying? We, we made it out with losing two. And this, this hurts. My heart is hurting. But we fade away on the Whizcash with the Magical Leaf, and really, it's just going to be um, it's going to be Wally in the Elite Four, and it's going to be I'm sorry, Wally before the Elite Four in Victory Road, and then the Elite Four in the Champion, and it's still going to be a Grass team against a Water type team, but oh my goodness, it's going to have to be better than that. I. I maybe should have given everyone some protects right out the gate so that we could have cheesed the ice beam, but even then it's risky, like, especially with, oh my god, I still can't believe Slaymore lived on one for, look at this, this is incredible, this was supposed to be a wipe, so that one shot on the um, shifter was really everything, because if we didn't die there, we could have used protect and um, we might have been able, I mean, we still made it out without losing anyone after Shifter went down somehow, some way. So, I I mean, I'm just so happy the run's still alive. Um, I'm going to have to review the tape and see what we could have done better. <laughs> better. But, um, wow. That <laughs> that Kingdra, though. Me and Kingdra have such a, a tough, tough time. He always gets the better of me. And I, I came in with so many moves that could hit through his double team. I thought we were going to be okay. Huge props to the, the Sceptile, but really that makes it easy because now we lost two, and now we still have a team of six. It's just not exactly the team of six that I was I was expecting, because I think both the Cacturn and Shiftry were going to go to the Elite Four with me. So that means the Cradley and Breloom are free, and we just got to make sure we can keep both of them alive through Victory Road and against Wally. And, um, and if we can do that, we'll have a full team of six. And hopefully that'll be enough to win, win it all. So as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.